Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the potential double top that we have just seen form on Bitcoin and how I actually foresee this playing out over the coming days. Uh, I will also uh, mention about Link and how that's been trading for you all. Um, so I hope you thoroughly enjoy this video and yeah, let's get straight into this, okay? So... Obviously, I'm going to start off here on the 15 minute time frame and, you know, you can see what's happened here. Like, pretty obvious. You have your high, you obviously come down, form your low, and then you, you formed a double top at this point. So you have formed a double top, but a double top is not confirmed until you break down really from 8,800. So um, all I would say is critical support is eight th this 8,800 level. That would confirm a double top at this point. It is not a confirmed double top. It's just, you know, a double top, but not, not a confirmed pattern, okay? You want to break that neckline first, okay? So I'd say midterm, your critical support is that 8,800 level. And obviously your critical resistance is that uh, 9,450. Okay, that's your range right now that you are clearly in from low high to low to high uh that's that that would be the confirmation of the double bottom actually closing down below 8800 with an increase in bear volume so that is what i am watching um well, on the midterm short term the levels that I have going on here, obviously, the daily support that you have at 9,076. And then this, uh, well, actually, this was like a three-minute level off of the uh, 9,237. You can see here on this three-minute chart, okay, that we obviously got that double double top, okay, let you know that pretty heavy rejection following that, okay, down, bear flag, continuation to the downside, uh, which literally bounced off of 9, uh, 9,076, which I did sculpt, I did take along on this, and just for it, so you know that, it's uh, true. So added here, obviously posted this in the group as we were literally hitting that seven nine thousand seventy six, and that was about a one, a bit just over one point eight percent scope. Okay, um, so that was decent. But now, obviously, you are going to you know have that potential forming another flag going on in here. So on the short term, okay, this short term, we can move this across a little bit. Okay, on the short term, you are really seeing you've got obviously this this kind of like parallel going on in here. So the midpoint is obviously going to be important. We could actually drag this down a little bit, slightly bit now, uh, where you obviously got that 9,076 resistance, moving this up to the top. I'm just going to see how this plays out. Okay, moving that up to the top, move that down to the bottom. Okay, and then you're looking at your channel really in this sort of aspect. I really don't like that channel. I want to put it back how it was originally. I'm just going to remove it from now. I don't like that one. But overall, you can see that channel that you're forming. I would adjust that parallel though, to be honest. Um, but you basically, yeah, that, that's your channel that you're in. And then the smaller term time frames, you're obviously within this section now. Okay. And that's, uh, you know, a, a big, two, like just under $200 range. That is a big range for a day trader. Like that is a real big range for a day trader. But obviously on the midterm, uh, so these are some Fibonacci time extensions that I've taken of when we generally are expecting our larger reactions. Obviously, the one to one extension is going to be coming tomorrow. Um, so we'll see how pivotal that is at the one to one. And then the one six one eight is obviously on the 27th. So in about 10 days time. Um, so, yeah, that, that's where we could see some larger moves coming of that one to one and then the one six one eight. So keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow. I think that could be a very pivotal, pivotal time of that one to one time extension. Um, and obviously this this pattern that I got going on here to cipher, um, you know, the potential of the 1313 to the 1414 is sort of upper term uh, take profit targets. OK, so um, overall, I would say while we still hold 8800, I'm, I'm undeniably still bullish. OK, that that's a real key important support for me, 8800. Um, hence, for instance, why I was adding to, you know, a, a long scope position off of 9076. But, um, you know, the, the, this really, really is an important support. If you lose that, uh, then that's going to confirm that double top and you, you're likely going to see a, a flush to the downside. But obviously, the, this is a massive, massive range in the, you know, in the short term, you have this smaller range. And then in the midterm, you have obviously from, you know, 9400 to 8800. That's an extremely big range. Um, so, you know, you just want to play it till the closes. But obviously, my wave count that we have going on here does see higher prices to come, but uh, a close below 8,800 and obviously we're going to be um, affected by this double top scenario that we have going on on the sort of macro. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, I would just say, you know, need to take it like one step at a time um, and just like trade each range as it comes in. If you get a close above your range with an increase in volume, you can see like, obviously the, the initial sell-off was a lot higher in volume, but you've only moved down half the price. So you have to like compare those volumes and think, well, this was actually nearly a doubled move, doubled move to the downside. And this is about half the volume. So it, it kind of makes sense. But um you can see last time this 200 EMA in, in the end acted as very nice support. And, and again, um, you know, do we come down and touch this again? These are like just little metrics that I'll be watching. And you can see over the coming minutes, 
no, coming coming hour or so, how this would coincide very nicely again with that 7,076 daily support with that 200 EMA. Okay, and then you start to close below that, then obviously that's an indication that you could go down to this and, and retest uh, the bottom of the range. Okay, so that's really how I would trade this going forwards in the short term. And then, uh, you know, if we, as long as we hold this support, I do not see why we cannot go up and test that 9600 level uh, next. Okay, so, um, yeah, no, that's how I'm looking at Bitcoin short term. So I hope that's helped you. And then I would like to just address Link and why this saw such a big move up. Uh, obviously, I've been talking about Link quite a lot with my group. But, um, you know, you're looking at here. Um, the 618, like really, really simple, really, really simple. Like, where do you take your fibs from for wave three? So from the bottom of wave two to the top of wave three for the, you know, that wave four, you bounced off of the 618 perfectly, literally um, to the tick, to the tick 618, you know, literally perfect. And from here, we're here, that's like a 20% move in like, you know, just, just off of 618, like real, real simple stuff. Uh, and then obviously now you're above that resistance point. Uh, moving on to, you know, above that 0 0.5, although you've got some a little bit of upper wicks going on here. Um, you know, there's still like another three and a half hours left of this next four hour candle. So let's see what if that closes above the 0 0.5 um, slash 20744. That would be like a critical level for me. Um, but yeah, that was link because I know there was a lot of hype around this. Obviously, the Google News 75 percent increase in like an hour. Crazy, crazy. And uh, then obviously you formed your bear flag originally. I'm uh, sorry, bull flag, but this has come all the way down to the 618. So like quite a, a big retracement, but uh, nevertheless, the 618 is always a level that you are looking for those buys. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was really nice on link, basically that, yeah, ni nice impulsive move from that. Obviously bat, bat another one today moving very nicely. But you know, really for me, on this short term, I'm, I'm more interested in, in Bitcoin, scope trading Bitcoin, um, because, you know, you, you see these like 1% moves on Bitcoin and, you know, they, they're actually worth more to me than, you know, playing a 5% a range on an alt. Right now, I really enjoy trading, uh, bit, well, altcoins I do enjoy trading, but when Bitcoin is this volatile, it's just you can make more profits uh, from a, a Bitcoin position than a uh, altcoin position with, you know, a leverage, etc. So um, anyway, getting a bit distracted there those are the levels that i'm looking at short term 9000 9400 9076 and then on the mid term you're obviously looking back up that double top resistance down to 8800 okay um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, bit of a quicker update uh, for you all here. I can see hidden bearish uh, hidden bullish divergences uh, looks like it's coming into play yeah so nice bit of hidden bullish um so we'll see how those play out um and I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, have a great 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 day hope that you are thoroughly enjoying trading this like i'm literally loving it okay oh yeah i will like mention this so you know obviously i made this tweet saying why you get double tops so obviously we saw a double top here so why do you get double tops well because you know you have to think if you're tr you know let's say you're either a, a, a double bottom so here you see a double bottom here you see a double top well you have to think when you're entering those short positions you know for a hedge position it's very 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 nice because you would literally have your stops above or give yourself a percent or so give your stops above the high okay and aim down for example you know that was daily support so that's where you'd be aiming for daily support okay for like a scope short position you would just simply place your stop losses above those highs aim down towards you know either a daily support or if you want like a be a bit of a you know a, a bigger target you'd be aiming down to the bottom of the range and likewise here when you're looking for that long position okay double bottom on the long stop loss below the lows aim back up to the top of the range for example or daily resistance you know that's why you get double tops um because they are extremely extremely nice they're really really easy to trade and you literally will give yourself like a one percent risk like it's worth <laughs> the risks even if it's only for a hedge position so um yeah obviously i tweeting out a little bit of knowledge here and there of why you get those formations because literally you will have one percent ish of a risk uh for you know an, a, a a bigger reward basically so it's all about that risk reward and um yeah that's what i'm going to end with there <laughs> um so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have found it helpful please give me a like uh very much appreciated uh, and as i've been mentioning in my videos lately uh, make sure you just check the description box down below and tick the little bell uh to get notifications on my newer videos so you don't miss a new one so um thank you again and have a great day cheers goodbye